Hello Team Venue viewers, I am your tech savvy hostess Tiseke, aka Titch, bringing you the special on the International Girls in ICT Day. This program happens every year on the fourth Thursday of April, which is Thursday, yay! So we're doing our special well, with information that you need on women who are doing great in the technology world in Malawi and across the world. In the studio, we're going to have representatives from M-Hub. Don't you just love technology? If you don't, you're going to love it by the end of this special. Don't go away. Welcome to Team Vinny TV, guys. Lovely to have you. First of all, if you don't mind, would you introduce yourselves? I'm Vincent Kumwenda a community manager from MHUB. Nobu Har, the assistant community man. I mean, assistant technical manager for MHUB. I almost stole his job just I now, eh? Stole his job. <laughs> <laughs> I see right, you, I yes. see you. Well, welcome to the special. We're talking about the International Girls' Day in ICT. And we thought at Tim Vinny it would be nice to talk to you MHUB guys. The first hub, I guess, technology yeah, hub yeah, in yeah, Malawi. Yeah. So if you start with, what is MHUB? Okay, you, you've already started defining it. Uh, M-Hub is the, the first ever technology hub in Malawi. We are like an innovation space and an incubation place that we seek to bring together IT entrepreneurs in one house, mentor them, direct them on how to run their businesses, especially related to technology. Awesome. Yeah. That is an interesting step to take. What inspired M-Hub? What made you start this initiative? Uh, M-Hub was inspired by the growth of hubs in Africa. We've seen some countries where hubs have contributed so much in the development of their country's economies. We've got examples of hubs that have changed the landscape of technology in Kenya, Zambia, Tanzania. So we thought of bringing this thing to Malawi. Yeah, I think Nobu can add on that. Yeah, um, MHUB was originally, it's an idea conceived by Rachel Siwande. She's our, she's the CEO and founder of MHUB, um, the executive director. Um, she um, attended a conference a few years back. It's called the YALI Conference, Young African Leaders Initiative. Um, it's headed by Obama. So once she was there, she was inspired by the different things that people are bringing, innovations from Africa. And her being a tech enthusiast and being a tech-minded person, she said, what can I contribute in my country? So she was thinking tech-wise. So she said, when I go back to Malawi, I think I can bring this hub, this initiative that is being done in other countries, but it's not yet being done in Malawi. Yeah. Wow. That is amazing, considering it's female-run. It's not really a female market as much as we would like it to be, but it's not. So it's interesting that she started this. Also interesting that you guys are so young. As far as I know, most youth are avoiding getting into tech and ICT because they think it's complicated or they'd rather leave it to the men. What inspired you guys to get into it and be so active? It doesn't need one to be old to develop something. You can do anything at any age. That's what inspired us, first of all. Mm -hmm. But uh, technology is growing very fast. Uh, young people need to catch up with the, uh, the flow itself. Mm -hmm. So we decided that we should be part of this hub and do whatever we can uh, as young people to contribute our share in developing the country through the technology. Great. Yeah. You want to add on to that or has he pretty much summed it up? <laughs> He's pretty much summed it up. What I would like to add though is one of the inspirations is most of the other economies um, in Africa, in the world, are mostly contributed to by entrepreneurs. Mm. So as much as there is now coming an entrepreneurship feel into Malawi, an entrepreneurship mind is growing in Malawi, there aren't really enough support groups, especially in IT. So that's one of the things that inspired me myself being a tech enthusiast um, uh, 
I failed to find a strong backing that can help me build whatever I could build in IT. So I thought if I could join this, if I could join MHub, then I could also help with other, help other techies build whatever they want to build. Hmm. On that, actually, leading up into my next question, how does MHub help techies? Okay, we're providing resources to upcoming entrepreneurs. We've got a space at Corporate Mall right here in Long, where upcoming entrepreneurs can come and use all the resources that they need to develop their applications. We're providing internet, computers, development, softwares, and everything. What has been happening in Malawi is that most of the developers have been working in isolation. They've been doing the developments in bedrooms, maybe in, in school labs, but we are providing a space now. Mm -hmm. They should come and we will give them all the directions that they need. And at the end of the day, we need to use them to use those solutions into making businesses. So we just don't want people to be building applications for fun, yes. but we want them to make money out of them. And we also think that the challenges that some other companies in Malawi are, are facing can be solved by these young people. Mm -hmm. We want them to bring those challenges to us and then we identify the, the available resources that we have that they should use to sort out the problems that the companies are facing. That's a really good initiative, especially yeah. since uh, in Malawi the youth are the major part of the population, 60% and above. Yeah. So having such an initiative to bring youth into IT is actually a really good step. Yeah. At the same time, I understand that you want to help those who are already tech savvy, the ready uh, people who are thirsty for technology. What about the people who are at home going, uh, I'm not so sure, you know, computers, I don't even know how to send my email. How would you <laughs> help the not so tech savvy? Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll be conducting motivational talks in schools and the other gatherings so that we should motivate young people nice. that they should take at least the IT part or they should study IT to become developers. We have a number of accomplished people that we will be calling, that we should be uh, having career talks so that young people should follow the IT trend. Yeah. Yeah, he's basically summed it, summed it up well. Um, what el we're also trying to specifically um, target girls. So, because one of the reasons is because our director is female, obviously. Girl power. Girl power. <laughs> um, <laughs> one of the other reasons is because much as people think IT is for boys, obviously, there's that mind. Eh, eh, obviously. Obviously, the mind. Okay, the mind, the okay. Mind is check, a, your, mind. check your wording. <laughs> yeah. Obviously, that, that way of thinking is what's established in Malawi. Um, what we want to do is try to change that way of thinking. Yeah, because many young girls don't venture into IT, not because they don't want to venture into IT, but it's because the um, environment tells them they can't venture into IT. Yeah. So that's the kind of mind we want, we want, we're trying to change. Like changing the attitude. Uh, changing the attitude. Yeah, because I think as an African culture, we always want our kids to be, I don't know, a, lock, a lawyer, sorry, <laughs> going into lock now. <laughs> He's a lawyer or a doctor or something, like a secretary. It's changing now, yeah. but our parents don't really push us towards IT. I like, I remember it was between IT and going to UNIMA for me end up going to UNIMA because you know how our parents like, yeah, it's easy to get a job with a UNIMA <laughs> degree. Yeah. And I think lots of people face that problem, girls especially, yeah. which is, I think, one of the many reasons they started International Girls' Day in ICT, which is, happens every fourth Thursday of April, which is this Thursday, so <laughs> hence the special. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> how does MHub intend to help specifically? You already said you want to help mm -hmm. girls, right? Yeah, yeah. But we want to know in detail how you intend to help the girls? There are two ways that we are involved in the ICT International Day for Girls. Number one, we are providing the motivation speaker. The motivation speaker at this, at this event will come from MHAP. We know that we have a person who has accomplished a lot of things in IT mm -hmm. as a woman. Yeah. Number two, we have a pavilion that will show what we do at MHAP. We have people coming out of our space to see whatever we're doing. So we are definitely taking part in this. 
Awesome. Event. Is that going to be soon? Because you're saying it like it's like right around the corner. So <laughs> is that yeah, soon? On, on Thursday. Oh, on Thursday. Yeah, on Thursday, and everything. Nice has organized uh, an event that is it belong to ROE. They have an event there, nice. so we will be there. Yeah. Going to go wave your M Hub flags and everything. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Okay. And it goes over uh, the nice event. Mm -hmm. um, we're trying to create special programs that uh, um, focus on girls. Yeah. Like going out in schools, it's proper and always good to go out in schools and talk to both boys and girls. Mm -hmm. But we would like sometimes to focus on girls because much as we say we want equal um, rights and we want to talk to both boys and girls, but um, the, there's a big issue to address in getting girls into ICT yeah. because um, if you go to like the percentage of girls and boys in ICT right now, at least it's 70-30, but if you go back at least two years ago it was really low it mm. was about 80 something to, to 20. yeah okay. so we're trying to above and beyond not just for the for the, nice event. Uh, uh, the event on thursday but even after that we'll try to yeah we're also working with the malawian women in ICT. Mm -hmm. this is that organization we're working with them mm -hmm. they come to the hub to get some ideas and and they use the space and we give them advice on whatever they want to do. So we are working on this. Oh, so yeah. you're the go-to guys for all this stuff, yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> I see, I see. Yeah. Okay, I understand that you already started working on these things. Like uh, maybe in the last couple of weeks, you've had a tech fest in Ilongwe and Blanta. I was there, so I had fun. Yeah. But <laughs> maybe you could tell viewers what happened. Initially, the tech fest was supposed to we invited the media, the corporate world, and the IT entrepreneurs. We wanted them to showcase the innovations to the corporate world and to the media. So to ask us how it, how it was, it was very good. We were even overwhelmed by the response that we got. Yes. Because we had a number of applications that young people have developed. Yeah. You would even wonder that these things are coming from Malawi. Yes. We had a guy who developed was that a credit loader system? Yeah, credit loader system. Uh -huh. You you can actually load your airtime to your phone using your video camera, mm -hmm. your phone nice. camera itself. Instead of punching in the numbers, you just scratch. take the scratch card, <laughs> yeah, picture it, and then you yeah. load your airtime. Nice. So we had several innovations that young people have done. Mm -hmm. It was a success. Yeah. Awesome. Is there anything happening in the future that we need to know about? A lot. A lot. A lot. <laughs> like just summarize it, just a little, just a little. Okay, we are in the process of organizing a competition, a mobile app competition. Uh, I think it's starting on 1st May. We want to invite young and upcoming entrepreneurs to develop an application mm -hmm. that will help them in their communities. And so that's one of the competitions that we're learning. We also have programs to go into schools. We also have programs to develop like platforms that uh, IT people can use right here in Malawi. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think Noble. Okay. Um, what I would like to say is, we want to go further. We want to think, we want to think bigger and better. Yeah. Guy comes in with his application. It does this. It does that. What we want to do is open him from the box that he is in. He's saying, I want my app to do this. I want my app to do that. What we want to do, what we want to do is say open that box, think bigger, think better. That's what we want, because most Malayan developers are in a box. Yeah. yeah. They want to develop an application, but oh, usually, not everybody, but usually they are locked in a box. Yeah, yeah, so we want to break that box. We want to say, your application can get this big, your application can go international, and we want to provide that platform, connect them to the right people, so that they can build that application and make it bigger. Um, we haven't talked of mentors. Have we talked of mentors? No, um, so that's one of the things that we're going to do. Um, we're going to get people that are already proven in the industry and connect them to these hub members mm -hmm. and, and teach them how to be, how to act in the business world, how to develop their applications for the business world. Yeah. So we're doing a lot. Um, we can't summarize. <laughs> yeah, I can yeah, imagine. But, <laughs> you know, techies only think about technology. Mm. Yeah, the, yeah. The, the way they would describe the application, mm. you think te technical ways only. <laughs> so we need these guys to move from that stage mm. to look the business side of it. Yeah, that's yeah. why we're bringing in these mentors that they, sh they should think 
about business. Mm. The application is to make money for them. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's why mm. we're calling in mentors from somewhere to mentor these guys. Wow. Yeah. You've got a really nice setup, you know, yeah. like not just training everybody and throwing them into the water. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're helping them along, guiding them as, well, mentors, as okay. you said. Yeah. Well, it was really nice talking to you guys. It seems Thank like you. you've got a lot going on. We will definitely be following you in future. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much for being with us.